a day four challenge time that no one will beat at the end of today's episode. The question is, how are they doing it? Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is another Halland challenge, and of course, everybody's heads are still spinning from the insane times that some players achieved on day one. We will, of course, cover every single challenge and lots more exciting Clash of Clans content. If you would consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out a great deal. If you haven't clicked that button yet, please consider it. But yes, okay, so I'm not going to bore you with the how-to on day four, because I'll be honest, these challenges are not all that difficult. In fact, some content creators are complaining that they're not hard enough, that players shouldn't be able to easily defeat it on their own. I completely disagree, but let's talk about the day one and day four challenges. Now, here's a day one beat right here that I did because that's just how good I am. I can down these challenges in a handful of seconds, and no, I'm not going to do this in the live game because I'm just that kind of guy. I don't want to steal gems from other people. So there's my time. Def def definitely two minutes and 45 seconds left. That's not an artificial time I pasted over a longer attack, is it? Okay, maybe it is fine. But and the point is that how are these people doing this, right? And I at first thought, okay, they have to be cheating. And funny thing is, I had a talk with Eve Maxi, the professional player from Tribe Gaming, who actually did dive deep into this challenge Gave it some attempts. Okay, when I say some attempts, Eve Maxi told me he tried it over 500 times. Yes, and he actually said he was shaving his attack time down to the point that he realized that maybe these players that are getting it done in about 30 seconds are doing it legitimately. However, the record holders right now, even the pros are questioning those times. And let's just say I can't go into details about it, but since Clash of Clans can now be played on a PC legally, right? There are probably ways that are way above my programming skill that people could cheat and exploit. The question is, is it detectable by Supercell's means? And would they go so far as to try to verify the legitimacy of these record-breaking gem-winning attacks? Just about the only thing I think we can all count on is more insanely fast times for the other challenges that have gem rewards. And remember, today's leaderboard is based upon the least troops used. So for the vast majority of us who don't play Clash on PC, who don't have time to attack 500 to 5,000 times, who do like to touch grass occasionally, then just go have fun. Enjoy the challenges. They're not that difficult. Everybody can complete them, even the average Clasher, without resorting to watching a YouTube video. Wah. So uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. Thanks, Galifan, for sticking around all the way to the end of today's episode. Get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planets. And of course, I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, Galadon, are you telling me you're actually a robot? I always thought you were just simply an alien. Hmm?